truth. Welcome back, guys, to the Untitled Podcast. Uh, we're back again, UBC Thai Ira. This time with a new guest. Uh, but before we get to him, uh, I'm Mark. Uh, you know, you've seen me before in a lot of videos. Uh, hopefully, uh, you'll get to know me better today. Kyle, I was in the last podcast and also other videos to her. You know, if you haven't seen it, go check it. <laughs> and and uh, here we have Kun Akom. Hey guys. What's up? Okay, so Akom, can you tell uh, the people about yourself? Just a little bit about yourself. Um, so... Basically, I am the only... Wait, no, I'm not the only graduate. But there's no, more. there's more, there's more. But I am the only one for working full-time. Yeah. Yeah? Out of school. Yes. In the time. No, what, what, what grad are you as well? Oh, uh, I graduated um, as a computer engineer. Yeah. Um, in 2013. Uh -huh. So that's like four years ago. Uh -huh. um, there was like a period where, where I was uh, unemployed for a year. Mm. So actually, I just worked for three years so far. Nice. That's nice, man. How are you finding it? Um, I don't know, but it starts to become like a a day day thing. Like it, it doesn't really excite me much anymore. Mm. But like the part that there's, we I have a really good coworker. The work culture is nice, and everything mm. is is all those things are just you know holding me together and, right. and staying in this this place. Right. That's yeah. Cool. So. No. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, for people who don't like. Like, Pia Kong is uh, a very big part of this club, and he's just in every part of the life, and, you know... Got the uh, car. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, and uh, he's the P.I. of the group, as we might we might say it. And, um, you know, we invited him today to come and talk about working in Vancouver and whatnot and all that. And Kyle's also had experience doing co-op and all yeah, that yeah, and stuff as well. But, uh, so I'm going to act like I'm, you know, the student. I'm going to be you. And uh, I'm gonna be talking to these two, so uh, yeah, guys. So, do you have any advice for people who actually uh, not advice? You want to just talk about like work, yeah. work? Oh, yeah, oh. like like working in like abroad, like maybe not Thailand because you you haven't worked in Thailand. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Well, I I kind of did. <laughs> it was like right. chef at Marriott, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> chef at Marriott, no big deal, no big deal. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But. Uh, in terms of here, I mean, I'll, I'll talk about like co-op first because no, yeah, I did yeah. that. Um, so it's basically you add a year to your your degree and you basically, mm -hmm. it's an extra program, you have to pay for it. Right. But you do get better access and better opportunities finding jobs. Um, you go through like the co-op website, they have job postings, you apply, they teach you how to make your resume. They teach cover letters, interview preparation, the whole, the whole, the whole lot. And so, like, I, I found it was kind of helpful. Um, it's pretty, pretty good. And it was, it was how I got my, my first job here, um, right. where I worked actually in in Toronto. Yeah, what did you do? Vancouver. I was, uh, I was a project engineer at Ontario Power Generation, and uh, mm. my co-op term was for a year, and mm -hmm. it was pretty, it was pretty fun. Yeah. Right, so, yeah, yeah. And just, uh, One thing to add about co-op, though, from a, an employer point of view, um, co-op, like, employers see co-op as, like, a different group as an, as, um, compared to a normal, normal mm, people. Full-time employee. Yeah, like, right. they actually, like, my, my company, at least, actually look for a co-op. Yeah, um, that's good, yeah. Like, UBC actually reached out to all these employers, like, oh, like, do you want to do, like, you want to accept a co-op or right, something? Right, right. And uh, actually, like, we have one, one of our employees right now who came to the company as a part of the co-op program, and now she's, like, after graduating, she's working full-time at this company now, so... That's a good opportunity. Yeah, so, like, you can, after co-op, it's also, like, good for, like, employers, they don't have to train you again, mm -hmm. so they can, like, save the cost and that, and then you can get an easier like gateway into their mm. company I guess you know yeah so that that's another good advantage of like having the the work um, experience yeah mm. no no yeah because yeah. I have a lot of friends who've been who's who've been on co-op and they, they they enjoy it a lot actually and like they like on like different from an internship that you might get back home at least for Thai people like back home like you might get like a just a, like a desk job and like yeah right. like do some like, boring stuff at home like, yeah yeah real, like yeah. I, I hear that like a lot of the stuff in co-op is actually like practical stuff and yeah. you actually mm -hmm. learn the stuff like, so it's yeah. 
Right, it's great. I think you should yeah. all do it. <laughs> like basically, employers see you as a uh, cheap labor. Yeah, I mean, like, they, get, they get tax. Yeah. They get like a tax cut. Right, right. Tax that's reduction. Right? Tax reduction. Yeah. So there's yeah. there's a lot more a lot more reason to to get right, involved, right, 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 right. So okay, um, but I wanted to know um, like working and like uh, like 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 student student life. Like how big of a jump is that? Ooh. Like it may, like maybe for you like like kind of it felt like that for like yeah, a bit, but yeah, like, like, I don't know well, how it felt for you. So but, like sorry, sorry, I'm uh, I'm specializing in mech and civil. Right. But uh, my co-op job was well, it was a bit of it was like project engineer, so you kind of dip your hand in every field. But I was working in a nuclear power plant, so like I had to learn a lot of like nuclear engineering stuff, like mm-hmm. on the the training when I was there. It was a whole week <clears> of training, computer based training. I had to learn all about this like nuclear engineering stuff and like you know the atoms and the fusion fission and all that stuff but uh, after that when it was actually working it's like it's a steep learning curve because it's a lot of these like acronyms and stuff you just gotta right. like learn hmm. it's like the way they talk in the company right, right it's right. their culture then also like how all the operations work and for me i was working in uh in a power plant right so it was like a lot of lots of operation manuals that you just have to like follow a lot of steps so it was it was it was really steep learning curve so like for co-op i'd definitely recommend at least at least half a year because like after three months like that's when you just be start that's Mm -hmm. when you just start becoming useful and then so if you do like a four month term like by the time you get the hang of things it's like you're 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 done done. you're gone like (laughs) like, actually that's like the the way the same the same way i feel about like working, working there, yeah. Because right. like the first three months is just all learning, 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 yeah. learning, and then mm-hmm. you actually start to do something after the third month. Yeah. Right. So, so like, like how, how how big was the jump for you? Yeah. Oh, like honestly, um, I don't know about other other fields, but in at least in computer engineering, mm. there's like there's like a lot of things available. Like for example, libraries to do stuff. Like there's like all these software that is available to you, and then like. School doesn't doesn't teach you how to use these things. It's just they just teach a fundamental what what the is theory, yeah. yeah what is underlying between right. uh, of these software. But then when you're working, you actually have to utilize these software. I think it's the same mm-hmm. for other other yeah. things. Too. Yeah, it's like I, I feel like yeah, application is really important. Like yeah, school doesn't teach application that much. That's no. why like right, I joined right. the club, which also helps mm-hmm. if you're like trying to apply for a company. Uh-huh. Like if they see you have that like. Hands-on experience, like it, it helps a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yeah, like like Formula One. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Formula Club. So. No, no, like uh, Ty- Tyra actually teaches you how to communicate, though. Like it helps, it helps with um, you know, like social life. No, no, it's, it's like a different side of it like, is, like yeah, 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 organizing. Yeah, yeah, it's like uh, it's those. it's more of like the yeah. One thing, thing to point out though, like um, employers here seems to not really look much for your skills. When you start, because you know they they are pretty they're, they're like expected like oh you just came out of school so you're not gonna know anything, yeah. but they actually look at your your social life is so like when you come in are you like you know enthusiastic or are you right, are you like right. are you are like just this, this quiet guy who's not doesn't do much. So are you saying that I will be employed 100 percent of the time because I'm a great guy? <laughs> it's like this. I mean, <laughs> what's that thing called? Like, it's like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> by, by the way, yeah. <laughs> I think Yo. it's like a. a uh, I forgot what it's called, like a beer beer test or something like I forgot what the term was. Right. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like <clears throat> would that would the company be like would they like it if you went out and mm. had drinks with them? Like would would you mm. guys like mesh, you know? Like yeah. I remember when Tesla came, they they said that jokingly, but like, you know, maybe mm. key, they actually meant it. <laughs> like like right, right, one thing right, I heard, right. like I, I remember my boss saying when I started, it's like anyone can learn about anything, but like at the office are you like like what's your attitude towards coworkers? What's your attitude mm. towards your team? What's your attitude towards like learning about new things, mm. right? So like if you have the right attitude, you can you can become anything. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty pretty much it. I think yeah. like called like meshing with like having good like coworkers is important. Like yeah. it, it affects you a lot when you're yeah. working. Right, right. If you have yeah. bad coworkers, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. oh my god. Like, I think that's like like with everything in life though. Like like as a student, I can relate to that on like a sense of, like the professor. Mm. Yeah. When the professor is shit or like the cl- the classmates are like shit and like you don't want to go to class. Like why don't we no, want to go to class? Is, like, I think that's the same like for ev- for any environment. Mm. I feel, but 
I, I think the the working place is important because like it impacts you like yeah yeah factor yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah you have to go to that yeah, because yeah. You're, you have to make money yeah, yeah that's true like class you could drop class but you <laughs> technically you don't want to quit a, a job you yeah, know? Like, <laughs> yeah. You get food somehow yeah you eat your food you go to Kyle if you need food <laughs> No, do you have anything else you want to talk about, like, working? Like, something I want to really encourage is, like, take advantage of your, your study, per, uh, what's it called, work work permit? Work permit, right yeah. after you graduate, you get, like, three years, is it? Three, three or two? Yeah, and I, I think, it's like, anywhere, to, to be honest, like, like, like the non-Canadian ones as well, like, um, yeah. like, just utilize whatever you're, you're able to get. Yeah, so, like... like Start early, like just you know, second term of your fourth year or something. Start start applying, start right. doing something. Um, especially if you're like, you know, for example, computer engineering, you can always do like you know, some website or like some program, right. some apps. It's it's always a good thing to to employers if they see like, oh, you mm-hmm. actually have like you know something going on on your on your own. Because I remember uh, I went to this um, what's it called career fair. And one oh, of the no, 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 that's Korea. Oh, I hear Korean. Oh, okay. So I went, I went to this career fair, right? And this one lady, you know, I I went to this this actually um company just because of this person, but <laughs> like I, I so I went I went to talk to them, and then, and then what they said was like, okay, you have all these courses, you're right. you're enrolled in all, all these courses, right? And like and what she said was um. Like everyone in this in this program as is enrolled into the same course. Like mm. what different what different, different yeah. yeah. Like it's like so what you do with school is not is definitely not good enough to be like the yeah. right. differentiator. So I, I really encourage you to like personal products. Yeah. yeah, find find some way to like, you know, engage in your own personal thing mm. that mm. It, will, it will definitely be this thing that will get you employed. Right. For sure. Right. I was working on this stupid app that Google pretty much had <laughs> for a long time. So, like, but then like I do have something to show them, right? I, yeah. Like, oh, no, yeah, yeah. There's something to talk about in interviews. That's for sure. That's right? for sure. Yeah. Yeah. They they they're gonna be like, oh, uh, so uh, having you worked on so far, mm-hmm. and you can always like say, oh, they have this app, you know? Maybe you can like kind of exaggerate a little bit, like. Oh, I have it to this stage when it's when it's like only half done or something. Yeah. Right, no, but yeah, but at least you have you have something to um, talk about. Yeah, to talk like, about like right? anything which is like extra for you. Yeah. Like yeah. like like in this case, like anything extra is good for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, it's, like I think it's good. I don't know what how it is in Thailand, but here at least I think most employers will will look more like beyond your degree. Like a degree is like yeah. nothing. Like I don't know, man. I don't I don't wanna seem like a like a dick or anything, but like I feel like if you can like ace a job interview here, I'm pretty sure you can ace a job interview in Thailand. Yeah. Because like I, I feel like maybe back there it's more based on like degrees and like yeah, 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 from yeah. like your so experience stuff, yeah. rather than your extra stuff. Mm. So like the extra stuff is those super added bonus there. Yeah, like, yeah. It's elevating you to another yeah, level yeah, yeah, at that point. Yeah, so for sure. Like if you could if you're able to already achieve that here, that you're you're good man. Like you're good anywhere I feel. Yeah. Yeah, so any any huh? last comments. Yeah, no. I'd say like the most important thing like that we talked about is just have have extra curricular activities mm-hmm. that you can show to employers and just have like make sure you have a solid like resume because that's that's right. like the first thing they look at you know yeah. Like, yeah 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 make sure you write it properly and cover letters I don't know just make sure that's also good I guess mm-hmm. um like co-op co-op really helps like for me at least like I, th- I feel like co-op's uh pretty beneficial like especially going into the working world having that prior job experience also boosts your right. like mm. uh your chances of getting getting a job so yeah Mm-hmm. And are you guys planning to go back to Thailand one day when you work? Um, for me right now, I'm I'm gonna try to get master's degree and then go back. All right, sweet. That's, yeah, at least yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, yeah. Um, definitely want to go back for sure. Uh-huh. Open a restaurant or something. Restaurant. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I need oh, some yeah. money first. Like, I gotta work out here. Yeah, okay, like, that's not the same thing I have. Like, I want to do all these things, but then like I always need this job as like a base income yeah right? funding. So, uh, <laughs> you need funding you need yeah, a you passive need income man you know? yeah always get, get into the stock market 
No, because like I, I talk to a lot of people and they're like they're afraid to go back home. At least like, like the Thailand. I feel like it's like a it's like a cushion, a safety cushion. Um, if you go back to your home place and you get too comfortable and then you start to like lose that drive to like right, 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 yeah, yeah. Achieve better, you know. No, no. And plus, like Some international thing. students, like we're not really keen on the seniority, like the system. Of, like, oh yeah. Like, mm-hmm. like we were talking about this last time actually. Right. And, oh, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So um. Like, I don't know, like, I think they're scared of the system back home, or, like, they have conceptions of it, at mm-hmm. least, so, like, I don't know if you guys feel the same, but, um, mm-hmm. you want to say anything on that, like... For me, like... Like, are you I, scared of it? Are you... I'm, I'm not scared of it, like... Right. I'll, I'll always challenge, You're okay challenge, with it, like, right, right. The, mm-hmm. the person, in, uh, like, directly above me, but, yeah, I'm not too concerned about that. Mm-hmm. That's good, that's good. I feel like, mm-hmm. like, as, like, the more, um... The, the newer age of people like we should like challenge these, mm, these yeah. norms I would say and uh, like for me I think around this age you know 20s to 30s it's it's the age where like you don't really have any dependencies your parents are still you know not that old so they can still work they can right, still get right, income right, right. they do still have enough money and you don't have any dependents you're not married mm. you don't have any kids so I think like between you know 20, 30, 35 or something right. it's probably the best time to just you know go out and do like everything risk yeah, right. everything <laughs> risk everything like because 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 no, like, in the end right you're gonna be like oh fuck i fucked up but then your yeah, parents yeah, are still yeah, there yeah, to yeah. support you right so just just go out and like do like just risk everything and try it right right, out. right right so so that way eventually once you, you hit 30 and you have so you have like a family your kids you know where you are what you like and then mm-hmm. so you can work towards that right yeah. right yeah, yeah. Uh, I think uh, we're gonna close that out. Um, I I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the podcast. This is really informative. Yeah, no, it's really, compared to the yeah. other two. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Shit. No, so um, we basically, yeah, so. No, 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 this this was super serious, but like, uh, I hope this was actually helpful, and uh, we'll be talking more lightheartedly stuff uh, in the next ones because uh, as uh, commented and suggested, we're shortening down the podcast, but we are uploading more frequently so we'll be recording right after this so check out the next videos all right like subscribe bye the poor man's outro that is true okay